to get it down to single digits there in the fourth quarter after trailing by uh, 29. Yeah, I, I just really like I, I love our team's resiliency and their ability to fight just to continue to fight. And, you know, we could have, you know, checked it in. But our guys knew coming out in that third quarter, we got, had to we had to come out swinging, uh, get a little bit more physical, make them a little bit more uncomfortable. And then that fourth quarter, just our ability to get stops and get out and run. Obviously, Franz had a really great night. Uh, what did you see from him? How did he get himself going? Well, just his his determination to get downhill. You know, we got a couple of stops that allowed him to get down the floor. And we talk about his IQ, his basketball IQ and his competitiveness, his ability just, you know, make the right reads and then just attacking the rim, you know, with a, with a force, uh, understanding how we get, you know, trying to get into that paint and, and put pressure on the rim. Uh, to that point, uh, he I believe he had 27 there in the second half. What would you see from him there? kind of in that third and fourth quarter that, that enabled you guys to, to go on that run? Well, again, it started with, I think, three or four stops in a row, which allowed us to get out and run. And, you know, when you watch the ball go in, you know, with a fast break point and an easy basket that we didn't, we hadn't gotten in the first half, you know, that, you know, you start to build a little bit more spirit, a little bit more energy comes through. And then his ability to go and he goes, you know, 10 for 10 from the free throw line. So him getting to the lane, getting hit, getting fouled, understanding how he had to put pressure on the rim. A lot more uh, success the way you worked your bench uh, in the second half than the first half. Milwaukee seemed to take advantage in the second quarter. But uh, what kind of changes did you make in that second half? Well, you know, I, I think a lot of it was a feel out process, like we talked about doing and, and, and understanding guys were just getting back in the fold. And so trying to understand the feel for guys that in those moments. So just being able to adjust in the second half to see how they were playing. Their small ball came in, in came into play a ton. Uh, so just figuring out certain matchups in those situations, you know, coming out in the second half. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the team just announced that uh, Hassani is going to be entering uh, the the health and safety protocols. You know, following this game, I don't know who's pulled in the third quarter. You know, it was happening in real time. You know, but but did you have any kind of information as it was going on? What was going on there, and how that came to be? Oh, well, you know, I was told that at, at, as it was happening in real time. So you know, we test every single day. So uh, you know, if you find out, and you just you, we walk in, you know, health and safety protocols right as those things happen. George, question, or Trish, questions on Zoom? Yeah, Dan Savage, go ahead. Coach, you know, a, a lot of young players in this league, you know, go through their rookie season trying to figure out the elements to be a pro. You know, Franz, with his consistency, his effort on every night, just, just how impressive is that from, from a young player in this league? You no, know, you know, we, we continue to say it. We continue to talk about it. The level of professionalism, the level of what you have to do every day to, you know, to make yourself, you know, be, become successful. And that's what he does. He shows up early. He stays late. He takes care of his body. Just ability to just be a pro. And that's what we keep talking about with all of our young guys as they're growing and getting better. That's what we're asking of the, for them to do. Are there questions, Trish? Nope, that's it. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Talk about your team's fight there to get it down to single digits after trailing by as many as 29. Um, you know, we went to the second the second half, understanding. Um, we gave up a lot of points in the second quarter. Um, that's kind of was the, the the story of the game. That's, in my opinion, if you look at the whole game, that's where we kind of lost the game was in the second quarter. And, um, you know, that's something I feel like we struggle with um, is weathering storms a little bit earlier. Cause it's a game of runs. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know we 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 get into this this thing where you know things aren't going for us offensively. We kind of put our heads down, including myself. I did it a couple times tonight, and I, you know, I I feel really bad because you know that kind of energy wears off on the rest of my teammates. But going into the second half, uh, I feel like we did a better job of knowing personnel, um, knowing who their snipers were, who their shooters were, and um, you know living with the tough twos, the tough the tough runners, the tough. You know, turn around jump shots because, you know, they're, they're a very talented team. You know, they're going to score points, but it's about what you give up and, and uh, playing the percentages. You have to guard Giannis on one end. How do you make sure that you maintain enough energy on the other end? Um, it's tough. You know, he's, a, he's a great player. Uh, um, you know, he, 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 he understands the game. He knows how to get to the, you know how to get to the foul line. Um, you know, he's just coming down here at you at all times. So, um, you know, uh, for me, it's just a challenge. You know, I, I wanna, I wanna be able to, 
you know, prove to people in this league that, you know, when you come and play the Orlando Magic or you come to play against me, it's not going to just be an easy game. I feel like I did a solid job of that tonight. You know, he, you know, he played, played well, but, um, you know, I, I feel like his points or his scoring wasn't what dictated the, our, our loss tonight. Uh, I feel like we just, we didn't, we didn't play the personnel that well in the second quarter. And like I said, I feel like that's where we kind of lost the game. And we will ca- crawl back. And like I said, it's a game of runs. So it made their runs in the third quarter, which was going to happen. But it was so tough because we gave up so many points in the second quarter. So, um, yeah, that's right about it. Wendell, this is Melissa Thomas of Florida National News. Can I talk a little bit about kind of the, the fouls too? Because I know that's also a, a potential way to give up points. Can yeah. I talk about how your, your team kind of balances that out? Um, it's tough. You know, as a, as a young team, um, <laughs> A lot of people uh, try, try to say that uh, <laughs> uh, the refs don't give the favor to a certain team. And I, I don't want to say they do, but for a more experienced team, a team that are players that are, are, are dominant scorers um, when they're when they're awful, when they're getting bumped going through the lane and they make it, some of those shots they usually make and they miss, you know, the refs feel like sometimes, okay, like he didn't make that. That might have been a foul right there. You know, you know, you know that's that's – that's just the nature of the game. I mean, that goes for any any uh, profession. So, uh, you know, it's just something we have to do a better job of. And then on top of that, we are fouling a lot too. So uh, we just have to do a better job of showing our hands and um, knowing our personnel, knowing what players really like to do. And I feel like we'll, we, we'll be uh, better in that, in that field for sure. Well, they'll talk about Rolo. I saw a couple of times earlier in the game where you had missed a shot or, or got – really frustrated about a call. He came over to you, patted you on the back. He was talking to you. Talk about how he helps you guys out in other ways on the floor. Um, man, Rolo is one of the, the, the greatest teammates I've ever had. You know, he was he was in Chicago with me my rookie year. And, um, you know, he he he's just a phenomenal person. And I feel like, you know, that's, that's like one of the reasons why he's still in his league. And he's a great player. Do not get me wrong. But just the fact that he's able to, to by default, just, just give good energy to this team or to a team, um, I feel like it's one of the reasons he's still in this league. And, you know, with the hook shot he has, too, like it's unstoppable, too. But, um, you know, he, he he's always done it. Even my rookie year when I had my ups and downs, like he was always there. You know, he 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 he, he was there for me. And he's he's going to continue to do that. And, you know, as I get older and more mature and more, you know, that's that's kind of what a, the kind of player I want to become for other players. So, you know, that's that's. That's something I, I love. I love about him for sure. Wendell, can you talk about Franz's performance? Scored a career high uh, thirty-eight tonight. Um, no, it's, it was just a matter of time. You know, Franz is a ph- uh, phenomenal player. He knows how to get to his spots. Um, you know, and then at the beginning of the year, you know, one thing I feel like he was struggling with was confidence. And I told him, man, they drafted you for a reason. Go out there and play your game. And uh, you know, we all kind of huddled around him. We all kind of pushed him. Like we understand what he can do. We saw it in practice every day, in training camp. He was killing, killing, and I, I just knew it was gonna happen. You know, just how fundamentally sound he is. Um, he just, he, he has a really high IQ for the game, and uh, you know, this is, this is just the beginning for him. I feel like he has a, a really high ceiling, and he's gonna be, he's gonna be just all right in this league. All right, thank you, Wendell. Yeah.